suffered a crisis in our culture. And I believe it comes down to a mistake that we've made between the interpretation of two of our most important and positive emotions, pleasure and happiness. A lot of people equate the two, but I'm here to tell you that they are completely different. A lot of people think that they're exactly the same. In fact, on the internet, you can find definitions that actually conflate and confuse the two. So what are the differences between pleasure and happiness? And I believe there are seven. Pleasure is short-lived, happiness is long-lived. Pleasure is visceral, happiness is ethereal. Pleasure is taking, happiness is giving. Pleasure can be achieved with substances, happiness cannot be achieved with substances. Pleasure is experienced alone, happiness is experienced in social groups. The extremes of pleasure all lead to addiction, whether they be substances or behaviors. Yet there's no such thing as being addicted to too much happiness. And finally, number seven, most important, pleasure is dopamine and happiness is serotonin. Now these are two biochemicals, these are two neurotransmitters, these are two chemicals that the brain makes mm -hmm. and uses to communicate between one neuron, brain cell, and another. Now, why do we care? So what? Well, turns out dopamine excites the next neuron. And neurons, when they're excited too much, too frequently, tend to die. So the neuron has a defense mechanism against that. What it does is it reduces the number of receptors that are available to be stimulated in an attempt to try to mitigate the damage. When you say to be stimulated, you mean to be excited? To be excited, that's right. And so we have a name for that process. It's called downregulation. And a lot of different chemicals in the body do that. Now, you get a hit, you get a rush, the receptors go down. Next time, you need a bigger hit to get the same rush because there are fewer receptors to occupy. And you need a bigger hit and a bigger hit and a bigger hit until finally taking a huge hit to get nothing. That's called tolerance. And then when the neurons start to die, that's called addiction. Serotonin, however, is inhibitory. It's not excitatory. It inhibits its receptor to provide contentment to zen out, if you will. So you can't overdose the serotonin neuron. And what does it mean to in inhibit a receptor? What it means is it binds, but it doesn't activate the process beyond the receptor. So what it does is it basically slows down those neurons okay. instead of causing them to fire up. And so by do it, and in doing so, you end up with the process of contentment, that feeling of one with the world, if you will, that thing we call happiness. Now, there's one thing that downregulates serotonin, dopamine. So the more pleasure you seek, the more unhappy you get. And Las Vegas, Madison Avenue, Wall Street, Silicon Valley, and Washington, D.C. have very specifically and in a coordinated fashion confused and conflated term happiness with the term pleasure so that you can buy happiness so that they can sell you their junk. It's called the American economy and it's based on hedonic substances, substances that drive pleasure rather than happiness. And in the process we have become most decidedly unhappy. And the problem is you can't fix a problem unless you identify what the problem is.